briefly mention this. Um, as we know, and it's a disgrace that this is actually have to be talked about. Um, the soup kitchens, um, basically outside the GPO, you know, outside different places, city hall in Dublin, and um, feeding the homeless people. And I have to say to the people involved, the volunteers, you know, fair play to you. I take my hat off to you for helping the homeless, for being there for your, for being there for your fellow man, and your fellow human, and helping them out in their time of need and keeping keeping them fed and making sure they're clothed and fed and looked after. Um, and again, it's a shame that it has to fall to voluntary groups to look after homeless people should be the, the, the main priority of the state to look after its citizens. But nonetheless, I thank them very much for their assistance to homeless people across this country. Um, they're the lifeblood of our nation, they're the backroom, they're the backroom workers of our country. Um, and again, as we know, the HSE don't, don't like, they don't like people being fed. They really, and we have to be totally honest, they don't like it, um, the HSE. So basically, they have an inspection of um soup kitchens. The the soup kitchens they set up um particularly outside the GPO, but outside the arts uh, college or whatever in Dublin, and they set up food soup kitchens, and um, where they give out soup, where they give out meals, uh, bread, etc., etc., etc. And you know the HSC have raised concern, health concerns, and health ground, um about the safety of these um soup kitchens. These uh, particularly two at the moment we're talking about. Um, and I have to say to the HC, you know, we cop on a bit, we just cop on a bit. It is safe, it is totally safe. It's better than, you know, it's better than probably what's, you know, probably what's happening in the hospice with the foods and different things. So that's probably better than that. Um, and the HSC, you know, they have no shame in coming along and saying this is, you know, you basically get health guidelines, whatever. Um, these soup kitchens keep people alive. And that's, that's the fine line here. This is the people that keep people alive keep homeless men and homeless women alive and god forbid children but they you know they keeping them that soup that bit of bread they get that might be the only thing they get a week maybe possibly could possibly the only thing they could get and they might keep that might just keep them alive for the next week to kick it keep it ticking over to next week and the hsc is coming along and be like whinging about it you know again i say it straight and i say it straight we have to save the soup kitchens and um, we have to save it for the homeless people and not not for the HSC or anything. We need to save it for these people who need it, the people who desperately need it, the people who are homeless, the people who are suffering. We just, we do need to stand up for the most vulnerable in society. Um, and the HSC, you know, should go back into the HSC, the Department of Health, and stay in there and not annoy these people who are trying to help their fellow man and fellow human out. And there's no risk, there's no risk to anybody. Um, the only thing that is a risk is the HSC button the nose interpreting. Um, and you if the HSC would go and help a few homeless people out, if they shut the if they shut them down, take for example these soup kitchens or uh, makeshift soup kitchens, is the HSC going to go and take out of the pockets of the heads of the you know, the Paul Reed or Tony Houlihan or any of them, are they going to flock out? Two hundred thousand or three hundred thousand to feed the homeless people. Because again, if they want to close these soup kitchens, they can take it out of their own back pocket. Because he gets five hundred thousand a year per weed, um, nearly over half a million. Um, Tony Houlihan gets about three hundred thousand a year, and the West is just an insane amount of money which they could take out and give to the homeless if they if so need be. Uh, or all the heads of the hospitals take a 50% pay cut to pay the feed to ho homeless people. Again, the HSC, no solutions, just close it down. We don't care about anybody, wh what happens afterwards. This is what we live in. This is the country we live in. And again, I can't stress this enough, but I hugely admire the volunteers that go out to help the homeless. Um, you, you really are in my prayers and you're in the nation's prayers in helping out the people in their time of need and helping out your fellow, fellow human beings. In their time of crisis and keeping them fed and keeping them keeping them alive above all else, and to, above above all else, you're putting yourself at risk and putting yourself in harm's way to help others, and that's very noble. And I'm sure everybody would agree. Um, you know, from everybody here, it takes very much for your service to your country and to your, and to your nation above all else and to your people. So yeah, please take care and please God, the HSC, cop on a bit. Thank you.